What's going on guys, Mickey here and welcome back to episode 70 of my Taskman series. So yeah, quickly hit that like button. I won't be taking too long on this, but I quickly hit that like button. It helps me get my videos out there a bit more. But yeah, let's go straight into the spreadsheet. And it's quite an exciting one because we will be back into medium this episode. So yeah, we're starting off this episode 99% easy. Let's check the leaderboards as well, where we are starting in 58th. So hopefully we can get up to, let's say 55 today. But yeah, let's go do Spirit of War and we should be then able to unlock all the fairy points. Yeah, let's get straight into it. Ouch, that's quite a painful one. Looks like we do need another thousand uh, souls. Uh, Yeah, that's going to take a little bit, but yeah, we ain't, this ain't going to be as quick as we thought. But yeah, let's go collect some dragon bones and we'll try to get this one done as quick as possible there is the last greater communion ritual we need to do so we are now at 3000 souls i was just doing the dragon bones again doing the uh greater communion ritual but yeah now we can go do spirit of war and we can finally start getting this task done so yeah let me go yeah complete that quest let's talk to karen now and that should be the end of spirit of the war Skip, 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 skip. There we go. Do we get a necromancy level? Did we? No, let's use the lamp first. That would be helpful. Nope, it doesn't look like we do, but now we have to make our way to the four docks and yeah, then that will be task complete. Is it four? Yeah, because we already hit Karen, so yeah. Uh, yeah, let me quickly go to these four places and we should have this task done. There is one. There is two. There is three. There is four. And there is task complete. Lovely achievement there, which is task complete. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. Let's complete our task and let's see what our final easy task is. Fully restore the statue of Het in Het's Oasis. The statue of Het is found and the center of Het's oasis. A total of 200 pieces of Het are required to fully repair the statue. The pieces are obtained by skilling in the area. You may only farm bushes for this. Um, yeah, so let's go see how many pieces of Het we have. Hopefully we have, mm, I'm going to say in the hundreds, but yeah, let's see how many we do. Got all of our pieces of Het out of the bank and we only have 123. So yeah, looks like we're going to be at this Het hydrangea bush. Uh, do you know what? I don't actually know how quickly you get these, but let's actually see if we get any farming levels. There we have the 200 pieces of Het. So now let's go uh, repair the statue. And that should give us the achievement. Uh, yes. I think we've got to do this four times anyway. So yeah, one for each part. Oh, not no. Yes again. That's the second part done. That is the third and the final part. We should get the achievement pop up, which we do. Yeah. And that is task complete. So let's go to our spreadsheet. Let's complete that task, which is easy done now, which is lovely. So yeah, let's see what our first medium task is back in medium tier. Obtain a unique from Anima Islands. So I think we only need one piece, don't we? Oh, we know we need a couple things. Um, we either go for tier two or maybe the teleport. Yeah, I'll see what I'll see what the prices are, and we'll go from there. But it's not a bad one. So yeah, let's go smash this one up at Anima Island now. So let's quickly check the reward shop, and as you can see, Tusker Remote is one k, and the Tusker Swarm teleport is one point two. And we have, three, well, 290 already. So, yeah, I'll probably just go for the teleport. So let me go get a thousand points. There are the points. I just had to do one game. So let's unlock the Tusker Storm teleport. Confirm. And that is task complete. So let's go back to the spreadsheet. Let's select the teleport. Complete our task. And what is our next one? Register a total of 10 unique items in the wilderness section of. So it looks like we're going to revs. Uh, 
yeah looks like we're going back to revs there we have 94 hp coming in let me quickly show you how many revs we've killed uh slayer and down where's revs where's revs uh there we go 2677 and yeah still no unique so hopefully it comes soon there we go there is our unique the corrupt dragon dagger let me quickly eat that corrupt dragon dagger let's make sure i pick that up uh yeah so let me quickly teleport out of here and i'll show you the collection log just to show you it's 10 out of whatever it is but yeah let's open it up uh wilderness there you can see the corrupt dragon dagger 10 out of 39 which is task complete so let's go to the spreadsheet let's select the corrupt dragon dagger there we go and let me quickly check the kc as well i didn't show you that but we got it on uh, where's the revenants two seven two seven three six so it weren't too far off when i made that last clip but yeah Let's complete that task and see what we get next. Complete 25 chimp ice deliveries. Oh my, this is a bad one. But yeah, let's get started. This should be the last chimp ice we need to deliver. So let's give this one to the king and the achievement should pop up. There we go. And that is task complete. That wasn't too bad. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's more annoying than bad. But yeah, let's go to the spreadsheet. Let's tick this one off. And it looks like we've got a couple beginner and easy task so let's see what they are super duper secret task number 18 chop down the tree behind the you know anvils and examine the stump so nice and quick at the tree now so let's cut it down and examine the tree stump Imbo. and yeah that is task complete so back to the spreadsheet we go nice and quickly complete our task that is beginner done again and what is our easy task obtain the super explosive shaker a total of 100 rubium can be added to the super explosive flask which can be bought from any slayer master to upgrade it to the super explosive shaker this requires completion of the kenneth's concern quest which i don't think we've done this can be added to your tool belt and replaces the regular version so yeah i don't i think we might just have to do that quest and this one should be done so let's do this quest these should be the last six rubies i need to add to make this into a super explosive shaker so let's fill it up and there we go there is the super explosive shaker so let's add it to our tool belt as well okay and yeah that is task complete so let's go to the spreadsheet complete our task and let's see what our final easy task is Register a total of six unique items in the Commander Ziliana section of your boss. So what do we still need? Alright, so we still need Warpius pieces, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let's go get them quickly. Okay, so this is going to be my setup for Ziliana. The Warpius Zamrock Helm. Obviously Guffet's Cape. Luna Amulet. Luna Torso. Luna Boots. The Gown of Subjugation. The Gloves of Subjugation. The Luna Ring and obviously the vanquish so yeah obviously my inventory is just going to be full of food but we probably will just get the warpist before we actually have to kill ziliana so yeah let's make our way to god wars so i've got all prepared for ziliana and i've just checked the uh collection log and as you can see i'm already six out of 18 for ziliana and that's because i think because of the god shards so yeah we literally don't have to do anything so let's go to the spreadsheet let's select God shard one, God shot, God sword shard three, and that is task complete. So let's complete that. That is easy done now. And what we're going to get in medium again? Unlock all balloon transport routes. Requires completion of a Latin journey, which we've done. Uh, and I think we might, we might only have a couple more routes to do, so this shouldn't be too bad. This should be the final route we need. So let's do this last move down. And hopefully we have the achievement pop up, which we do unlock all hot air balloon travel routes. So yeah, that is task complete. That went too bad. We only had to unlock one more route or one or two more routes. I can't remember. But yeah, let's go to the spreadsheet. Let's complete this task. 
and see if we get another quick one. Here, the Towers of the God Wars. Complete the Towers of the God Wars mini quest. A constitution level of 70 is required, as well as either a strength or agility level of 60, which we all have. So, yeah, it looks like we'll be doing a bit more questing. This should be the end of Towers of the God Wars coming up now. So let's talk to the creator and there we go. That is quest complete. Any... Oh, give us teleports. Let's use our lamp on... Let's use it on Ray. Uh... No, let's use it on prayer actually. There we go. Bit of prayer XP. No level. But yeah, that is task complete now. So let's make our way to the spreadsheet we are flying through these tasks this episode so let's complete it and see what we get next find shebit in the work edition of menaphos finding shebit or shebit requires tier 5 reputation in the worker district you can only use methods of reputation gain that cannot complete other tasks as a result all activities are off the table until the respective gems and insects have been have been obtained scavs and obelisks are fair game from the get-go um yeah so i'll probably just do obelisk to be honest so yeah let's find find the cat so we are going to end the episode off there so we did start this episode off 99 percent easy and we are now back in medium up to nearly 28 percent let's check the leaderboards as well where we started off 58th this episode and we are down one place to 57th so not too bad there's quite a big gap between the next jump so yeah down one place but yeah if you did enjoy this episode quickly hit that like button it does help me get my videos out there a bit more and subscribe for more rs3 content